Hi everyone, this is gonna be a quick tutorial on how to use Clever. Now, um, you may be wondering what Clever is, and it is basically a simple website that allows you to log in with your Google account, and then it gives you access to thousands of um, different websites that we use for the school setting so that you only have to log in one time. You don't have to go from website to website to website and log in on each um, individual one. So it is really um, a clever idea to use clever. So let me show you how to do it real quick. So up here, when you first log in on your Chromebook, now I'm on a Mac, so it might look a little bit different, but um, regardless, when you log in on your Chromebook or um, if you're logged into Google Chrome with your account, and you'll know that you are if you see your, your um, thing up here, you would click on this blue C right here, and it will open up Clever. Now, it may or may not say log in with Google right here. It might say um, to search for your school or into your school name. So in that case, you would type in the name of your school and it should pop up. So you would click on that one and then it will pull up this screen right here. So you're going to click log in with Google. And bam, it should log you in automatically just like that. If it doesn't log you in automatically like that, then you're gonna need to enter your Google login information, but you will only have to do it one time. And then uh, for me, um, you would just click on Mr. Hemingway's class, and then you have access to all the apps that I use um, in our classroom. Now, uh, what we want to do is if I wanted to go to Google Classroom, for example, I'd click on it. And it's gonna take me here to where all my classes are. And then you would just click on my classroom right here. And then same thing with any of these other ones. So whatever I um, assign or ask, um, for everyone to do, you have access to all the websites right here in one convenient spot, and you ha just have to click on it, um, and you won't have to log in. So um, maybe you might have to log or enter the classroom code on Epic if I ever assign a book. But for right now, given the distance learning situation, the two resources that I plan on using just to keep life simple are Google Classroom and Flipgrid. So um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this helpful and I really hope that this simplifies your life. All right, take care.